morning everybody it's Tony our cabin woods today right now it's early in the morning it's uh, the day after the big storm that we were to I guess they said have that massive hail um, they're talking softball size hail and everything and we end up with like little pea size hail and only just a little bit thank God for that anyway next morning look how beautiful it is outside now I mean, it's just really nice. I, someone commented on me, look how happy. They asked me, how come I don't cut the grass right here along the edge? That's the hill. If you look real close, <clears throat> it's hard for me to see the camera, but I'm going to zoom in some. But you can see at the top of that grass, there's seed. Where are we at here, I think? You can see that there's seedlings all on top of here. And that's all fescue. Fescue is real hard to grow by seed if you buy it by the bag. Have to move over, honey. And but if you let your fescue grow to when it's seeding right now, and you let it stay that way for a couple of weeks, and make then you can go over and just knock the plant. And if you see the seed to start to fall off, then you go ahead and I you can't use a lawnmower back here. You have to use a weed whacker trimmer. And then I just knock it all down to the ground. The back of that hill is all fescue. I've done that now for the past three years. Never laid a seed back there. Um, well, I, I, I'll take that back. The first year I put fescue back there. And it's been years and years of it coming back. My cat has just jumped on my back and clawed me. This is fescue. And I did the same thing. And if you look, there's Willow and her sister, Happy. They were laying together. Anyway, the really purpose of today is right now talk. Just look out back here. Look how pretty it is out in the woods. The trees are growing real good. Leaves look real good. But there it is. Today I am going to go and um, plant the trellis garden. Um, a couple days ago, well, we I cut around with the lawnmower and pulled the weeds out real quick. And so it's just sitting there waiting for me to go. I gotta take that compost I put in there and rack it around a little bit, move it around, and then um, put the plants in the ground. All right, I'm out here where my trellis is gonna be. I did real quick cut the grass back there, got that done. She, my wife did it for me. And then I trimmed around the edges. I gotta take that little bush out and that right there. Now I'm gonna take all the center stuff I've got right here compost and whatever else I've got in here. I'm going to push it around along the edges, all the way around the edges. And I'll be planting in all that. So, alright, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and push this around and I'll get right back with you. Alright, what I've got, I've already got this all raked out. It's all raked out pretty good. I'm going to put some more soil back there. I'm noticing right there. But, that whole back wall, one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are acorn squashes. And we'll just see how they grow. And, uh, of course, the, the weakest uh, gets tossed because there will be a lot of squash. And then, right here, one, two, three, four, five, six. These are cucumber plants. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five. Those are um, cantaloupe. There. So we'll just see what ends up going where. We'll see how it travels. Um... Cantaloupe I did on my other No, I did actually buy my chicken coop and it traveled did pretty good if I can get it traveling up good Then I'll go ahead and finish off this opening just with some chicken wire Put it up there so we can get everything growing up As you see it looks good soil looks good and uh, Looking great I got these plants put in. Here's my onions. Onions are looking really good. They're looking really good. And I've got all the plants in the ground. And they will all consume this trellis system. Another month here, these things will be crawling. Everything's looking good. They've been in the garage and um, for the past though say week whatever I've had the garage door open it took the top off and turned the light off 
trying to get them acclimated to the weather a little bit and they're going to do good now we're good to go so now all i need to do is keep watering on that next one is that garden i'm going to rake that there we go we got the uh trellis garden has planted and we'll keep track of it all right y'all have a great day thanks bye